Welcome back to Morning Break, where we're talking about live music. Tim, are you a fan of live performances? Oh, love it. Everything from big arena shows to just somebody pulling out a guitar and playing in one of our squares. It's uh, great to hear somebody kind of doing their craft that way. Yeah, that's exactly what we're about to get into. So, Jacob Evans had several videos get tens of thousands of views on Instagram. And it's been opening doors for him. He sets up in random places, like you were saying, mm -hmm. and just starts playing music, like squares and stuff like that. The innovation has grown his platform in just four months. So let's take a listen at why so many people are clicking the follow button to hear more. Y'all want to hear a song I wrote? Want to hear it? Go. <laughs> Jacob Evans has had an undeniable love for music for quite some time. But moving to Savannah just more than a decade ago, showed him he could go further than he imagined. Just like the breeze Ah, you're You're refreshing Evan sings, writes, and edits his own music, including his newly released seven-song album. Let's see how good we can make this sound in five like minutes. Desert. Or two, we'll see. Right now you're listening to an original song of his. The guitar right here, let's go ahead and name that. However, getting the attention of thousands was his own challenge on Instagram, starting with day can one. Can I call you Rose? Cause your thorns won't let love in too soon. Day two. One, two, three. The world keeps turning. And ending with day 38. He started his page just four months ago and posted a new cover every day, getting him the nearly 12,000 followers he has today. My love for music is like, I can't, I could probably cry if I really got into it, into it, but like, I'm making my dreams come true. Mm -hmm. Meaning like, I'm like doing the things to make what I want happen, happen. And it's like, it's as real as just like, taking the steps of buying the equipment, learning how to use it. Taking steps like editing his own music and setting up a tripod in parks and historic squares, he captivates an audience. So you've had a few videos go viral actually on Instagram. Has that exposure helped you, you know, get some of the gigs that you've been working on? It did. <laughs> <laughs> what is it like to just say, everybody, let's go, let's just pack up the band and go outside and play some music. Like, where did that idea come from? Like, just looking at Instagram and seeing all these cool things, like, how can I make these videos, like, interesting? And to make cool music there, and once you do it, it's, like, cemented, you can watch this video and remember this time. It's, it was, it's so dope. As an emerging artist, it's been his persistence and innovation that's helped him get where he is today. I have what I dreamed about a long time ago already, and I'm just, pushing for more things. And he wants other artists to know it's possible for them as long as they keep going. A consistency over perfection, for sure. That's like the main pull away I got from the, the campaign. Um, and just, just find someone that you can like trust and talk to and confide in, which like goes across the board in life, but surprise, it also helps you in music. In his music. When you call me. Speaks for itself. No, you don't understand. God, you make me feel invincible. And I just can't explain. Girl, would you be my lowest lane? Ain't no fire ever burn the same. Now do I do what you do when you call me? little snippet of an unreleased song. Well, kind of released, but we ain't going to talk about it. Thank y'all. So he was so fun to hang yeah. out with and so talented. Some of his videos have gotten like 200,000 views. Wow. And I saw it. I mean, I saw when he first, when his like first video came out and it was at Forsyth. I was like, hey, that looks like Forsyth Park. <laughs> what is he doing? And he posted every day for 40 days. That's amazing. And I mean, he started from no followers to yeah. 12,000 12, in four months. Just show, shows you what a tool social media has become yeah. for musicians. I mean, you, know, you used to have to send your tapes off to radio stations <laughs> and hope that yeah. somebody listened to it and then played it. But uh, now you can make your own way. And uh, that's amazing that he was able to build a following like that so quickly. He's got a great voice and a great style, so I'm not surprised that he blew up as quickly as he did. Absolutely. Definitely some talent there. <laughs> <laughs> all right, coming up, we've all heard of the phrase buried treasure.